I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. It's the Warriors music. It's the ultimate warrior. It is. Look at that. The ultimate warrior. What is he doing? Is he going to attack Hogan? What is going on here? Close line. <laughs> so I just got to ask the question, right, huh? Once again, I got to, you know, emphasize this, dog. How long does Kevin O'Connell be excused from blame, <laughs> right? How many times does he get saved from being in a hot seat or being held accountable for bad coaching decisions, not putting players in the best positions, not playing the right players and the biggest one of them all so far? The biggest question is, can Kevin O'Connell really identify a franchise quarterback? Yeah. Can Kevin O'Connell identify a quarterback, a good quarterback, a future star, elite quarterback, huh? And if you really being honest, you know, with an honest answer, right now it's seemingly looking like, no, bro. Let me expound, right? Let's just start with the last draft. Huh? Just start with the last draft, man. I'm going to give you a prime example. If KOC was really a QB whisperer, if he was so good at identifying the quarterback, finding the quarterback of the future to replace Kirk, huh? <clears throat> you understand? You dig me? You get my drift? If he was really that guy, huh? Why didn't he draft Will Levis? <laughs> yeah, right? Crazy as well. Crazy as well. But KLC is a so-called whisperer, huh? QB whisperer. See what he saw to help Kirk do for Kirk. But why couldn't he identify Will Levis? Rumor has it, news was, the Vikings like Levis, like things about Levis. Kevin O'Connell loved his style, liked his game play. Thought the Vikings would draft him. You understand? <laughs> A quarterback, I wanted the Vikings to draft this if he was still there. And guess what? He was still there, bro. Boom, that was Kevin O'Connell's perfect opportunity right there. Find your quarterback. Identify your quarterback. And we see what Will Levis is and what he will be. Oh, he's going to be a lead oh, of Titans. That'd be all right. He just needs more weapons, more weapons around him, better coaching. <laughs> you understand? Learn the game. The game will slow down. Had a solid rookie season. Should have been a starter from jump. Also, can he stay healthy? That's one of his biggest problems right now. I think he's hurt, injured right now. Matter of fact, I don't think he played last game. But if he can stay healthy and the Titans build around him, they got their franchise quarterback, huh? I don't care what nobody say. You see his arm power, arm strength, accuracy, he can read the field, and he's going to continue to prosper and get better the further he, he goes along in his career, dog, on his journey. But that's right there. Boom. If I can draft him, <laughs> you got your franchise quarterback, Dill Don Bam High. Your biggest issue is solved. Get Kirk up out of there. You got Will Levis. Get you a solid backup, et cetera, et cetera. Could have still drafted Hall. <laughs> So we're talking about drafts and identifying players, man. You got to ask the question because this could have been a scenario. I'm going to talk about drafting as a whole as well. You look at the receiver position. Now, I'm glad Addison is, is, is in the building. He can be a great player. Having a great breakout season, rookie season, right? Balling out, doing his thing. Glad he's in the building. But let's say Jordan Addison, okay, another team drafted him, <laughs> But the Vikings could have got Will Levis, their quarterback. But not only that, Puka Nakua, a receiver. Go check the track record, man. Check the video history. <laughs> a receiver, I said the Vikings should draft or look at drafting, huh? Look what he's doing. They calling him a smaller Debo Samuel. <laughs> Think about the career he's going to have with the Rams under Sean McVay, huh? Heavy, a rookie. <laughs> so the Vikings could have had a double play, a double move, dog. Puka Nakua hit. Will Levis hit, bro. The Vikings could have had them both. If we're talking about being great, being solid, having great scouts in the building, <laughs> look at the moves the Niners made. Brock Purdy, huh? That's the scouts putting that work in, putting that effort in, identifying football players, identifying quarterbacks, huh? If you're the quarterback whisperer, you should have been able to find a Brock Purdy. If you really zoned in like that with the quarterbacks, huh? Well, Levis should have been, it should have been no hesitation, no question, and he was right there. You can see star on Will Levis, leader, confidence, could be cocky, but so what? Arrogance, so what? Belief in himself? That's the problem, man. Huh? 
People thought he was cocky because he was confident, too confident for them. But who are they to say something about it? <laughs> People made a big deal about him throwing with his, with, his, with, uh, with sleeveless shirts, showing off his arms, his guns. So what? <laughs> People soft, man. Sissies, man. <laughs> Heavy, bro. <laughs> soft realm, dog. <laughs> you intimidated by a guy throwing footballs uh, with, a, with a half sleeve on? Get in the gym then. <laughs> you mad at him? Get your ass in the gym heavy. <laughs> but KOC couldn't. He didn't identify Will Libis. He had the perfect opportunity, bro. Slip past him. Period. They could have pulled a double move if they really bought it, bought it with scouting, identifying football players. Look at Puka Nakua, man. <laughs> No disrespect to Addison, but who's the better overall receiver? Who brings more to the table as far as receiver, dog? Compare Addison, compare Puka Nakua, heavy, right? <laughs> Who's the better receiver overall? Puka Nakua is bigger. He can block. He can also run. <laughs> they can use him like the Niners use Debo out the backfield. He can catch. He makes the big catch. Tough catch in traffic, dog. <laughs> he can really do what Addison can as well, but and then some because of his size, his running ability, his blocking abilities, huh? His size is power, bro. <laughs> And he's only going to grow and get better as well as Jordan Addison. But I'm just trying to show you the scenario of how if Kevin O'Connell was such an identifier, a great identifier of quarterbacks, the whisperer, if Quazy was such a great analytical guy, master, drafter, identifying football players, they could have got two hits instead of one. Jordan Addison a hit, but think about it, huh? You get Puka Nakua in the fifth round. You get Will Levis as your quarterback. You hit big heavy. And you got Jettas. Bam. <laughs> Period, huh? That's my point. So it's a big question. It still remains to see if Kevin O'Connell, we know what it is already. First off, can he coach for four, four quarters? <laughs> Period. Bottom line, can he play the right players? But secondly, can he identify a quarterback, dog? The right quarterback. Can he make the right moves, man? Come on, bro. Will Levis will be that guy. I repeat, Will Levis will be that guy, dog. As long as he stays healthy. The Titans build around him correctly, continue to develop him. He's going to put the work in. Confidence there, swagger, star power, bam, bam, huh? That's what it is, man. But KLC didn't see it in him. He couldn't identify him at the perfect opportunity, man. Fans like me screaming, draft Levis, draft Levis. They went with Addy. Great pick. But think about what they could have gotten, bro. Period, bottom line. So I want to hear about who KOC is, you know, as a head coach, as a, you know, great coach of quarterbacks. Kirk still ain't made a playoff run, huh? The Vikings still ain't won a championship. Kirk has not made it out the first round yet, bro. And it's no guarantee that Kirk would have took the Vikings to the playoffs either, huh? Let's not forget that, bro. <laughs> Let's be real. Let's be really real. Heavy. Let's not forget that, bro. Kurt, let's say he didn't get injured. Was it guaranteed that the Vikings would win? No, man. Look at KOC's play calling even before Kurt was injured, bro. You look at some play calls last season, bro. You look at the season as a whole. Kevin O'Connell has felt the team in a lot of games, bro. A lot of games, so who's to say he wouldn't do the same if it was Kirk Cousins in there? They were one and four, right? Just really think about it, man. Heavy. No playoff run has been made from Kirk. No big wins for real. Uh-huh. Besides the regular season, huh? So let's not forget about that. <laughs> when is Kevin O'Connell held accountable? He's supposed to be the quarterback whisperer, huh? Great leader of men, huh? Great identifier, huh? He hasn't done it yet. I'm saying he had the perfect opportunity to make a big play in the draft, and he missed it, dog. Heavy. Let me know how you feel about the video, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm on and rock and rolling. You already know what it is, bro. <laughs> big school here. School Vikes forever. Win, lose, or draw. You know what it is. <laughs> school territory. 1,000. 1,000, huh? Yeah. Heavy. <laughs>